guys. It's this is a fishing tip. Yeah. This is a fishing tips video. I'm gonna stand a little more back so you can see the length of this rod. If you want, if you want to see. If you want to see a new video on fishing tips and tricks, maybe you're a good fisher, even though there's only 10 of you. Share this with your friends, like and subscribe. Um, if you're, if you know someone that's good at fishing, I know I only have 10 subscribers, so I'm looking at all you 10 people. I am sure you're social. Um, mm -hmm. Not very recent, though. Exactly. If you know someone that likes fishing a lot, If you see if you uh, see a friend that likes fishing a lot, uh, recommend you to us. Even though we make a lot of shorts, if you like and subscribe, if we can get thirty likes on this video, Bro, you're gonna get sucks. five more subscribers. Um, I'll make another fishing tips and videos. Uh, we're desperate. We'll just this, do whatever. I know. This is a beginner's tip on bait. Uh, we'll get into lures maybe in a part three because I know part two. I think we're gonna do. Uh, yeah, like, like my skinny jeans. Like, no. uh, I think part two we're gonna do a little more upgraded of catfishing, bait fishing, panfish fishing, not with this rod. Um, so obviously that's gonna be a part two. If you want, if you're good at fishing and you want to see something, maybe you already know this, and you want to see some tips and tricks that a lot of fishermen don't know. Team Dugan, go check them out. They have a lot more subscribers. I don't know what he's talking okay. About. Um, <laughs> so first thing to know. When you're fishing for, say, a catfish. Um, panfish and catfishing is two different things. Even though it's sometimes the same style, maybe fishing on the bottom with worms. Um, catfish fight a lot harder, as you might know, even if you don't fish at all. Because they're way bigger. and they're Yeah, they can get way bigger, obviously. Have you ever seen a whale's catfish? It gets to, like, 50 feet. Um, the biggest panfish ever caught five pounds, biggest catfish ever caught, breaking a thousand. So obviously there's a little bit different there. A small panfish would be about maybe a quarter of a pound, half a pound. That's a small-ish panfish. A pound is a giant can panfish or a decently large panfish. Um, a catfish, a small catfish would be about three pounds and a medium catfish is about 10 pounds, a large catfish this is 25 to 30. This is my channel. A big, big catfish can go from 50 to up. Um, this is a catfishing tutorial. If you want to see the pan fishing tutorial, I'll like and subscribe. And then the pan fish tutorial, I think I'll make the pan fish tutorial really short because pan fish so easy. But if you want to see knots, here's the thing we're going to do. You're going to do knots. We're going to do pan fish. We're going to do this beginners um we're gonna do tips and tricks that you might not know um and then we're gonna do lure fishing and maybe creek fishing with the creek fish pro but that's if we get i hope a lot more subscribers anyways we're already three minutes and 15 seconds into the video that's not exact that. so i'll stop rambling we'll get on to it first thing we're gonna do lesson one cat fishing this skip the very, intro if you want to he's annoying me yeah skip the intro you can skip to like 325 then you're good um so I don't want the text on screen for that. Uh, catfishing. This is a big reel. I'm not sure if you can look at that. But if you're going to Walmart and you're looking for rods, I'd say anything about maybe a foot and a half taller than you and is, has a sturdy base like this, really thick, a lot thicker than other rods, that's a good catfish rod. Now, if you pick it up, I'd recommend you test it. You give it a reel. <laughs> And if it's really, really, really cranky and you already bought it because you didn't test it and look at this video, you have to get a new rod because you don't want a janky rod to catch a big catfish because if you do, then your reel is going to bust and you won't catch that big catfish and that could be the catfish of your life. My brother left the room, so now I'm just here talking to you guys. What's up? Um, something that has a sturdy rod bend, so this is made of... The room's got very good like stopping sound. Graphite, so yeah, graphite, not bendy. Graphite is what they use with pencils. Um, so Here. this, you see how the rod's not bent. If you had a little rod, this rod would bend so much, and you can maybe, also a rod that might not be as thick as this, but it's a lot cheaper, is the, uh, not so new now, but the ugly stick of GX2. It bends a lot, but it's really sturdy. You can bend it all the way around to here. So, ugly stick GX2, definitely recommend it. I have it, that's, uh, Shakespeare. I recommend Shakespeare. Shakespeare is a writer. Um, so, it's a 
the baseline is 40 pound test and i think there's a leader yeah there's a leader on here with uh i think 70 pound test i used to use this for salt water but you know salt water salt water tutorial maybe next um it's a battle tube graphite pen rod so usually pen rods are on the smaller side but uh this is their like their XX combo oh, for saltwater fishing. Saltwater fishing, um, you can also use for catfish rods, even though big reel, they're perfect for catfishing because big rods, when you buy a catfish rod, saltwater rods tend to be more expensive, but tend to be on the more luxurious side. Well, not more luxurious, but more, <laughs> but more, how do I, uh, I don't know how to say this, but I think I forgot the word, but we're going to continue. They're more, they're just better for catfishing. Like a catfish rod, okay, yeah, it's thick, but saltwater rod, you can do two things with it. Also, same thing with a catfish rod, you can saltwater fish with the catfish rod. It really any way that you want it to be, but this is just a saltwater rod, you can get your own catfish rod, but I think saltwater and catfish rods, about the same mechanic. This is your bale, this is how you cast. One thing to know about catfishing, you don't need to cast in a deep area. You need to cast if you know the lay of the pond and you know, hey, there's structure there. Structures, trees, branches, rough rocks. Then you cast to it. You don't have to go really deep. You can go somewhere, anywhere where there's structure, anywhere. You don't need to cast super deep. Um, obviously, handle big enough to go big enough to go inside of a rod holder. Very important. You don't want a short little handle because then you can't go on a rod holder. Um, if you tend to leave your rod out at night, I would recommend tying them to a tree because you don't want to lose the rod. I definitely have never lost a rod <laughs> to a catfish. That's not true. Don't. It was a very good rod too. That's another video for another time. <laughs> um, story time. So obviously this is your drag. I think I was pretty high. Which I didn't. Um, this will be a short video, even though it's 10, 7 minutes and 12 seconds. Another thing about catfishing, your bait. You can use worms, but worms, you tend to get smaller catfish. If you use, you go to Walmart, you can get night collars, shad. Shad, very good for bigger shad and catfish, around the 15, 20 pound, or 30 pound. Basically, you can also catch bass. Um, you can also catch bass with worms, too, but honestly, you know. Shad's the way to go, because shad, a lot bigger fish. Even though a small catfish can bite a shad, I don't think a big catfish could get there in time before a bass or a panfish got to that um, worm. But if, you have, if you're catfishing, I'd recommend multiple rods. I do not recommend having one rod out cause, and fan cast, because to check a spot, you give it about an hour and a half, or an hour, two hours maybe, if you're insane. Um, get away. Yeah, pretty hard rod, sturdy base. Um, let's go over the real mechanics. Don't worry about the double bed. Um, That's we just moved. Nice. Uh, the real mechanics. Obviously, bigger reel, uh, thicker bale, and we're actually gonna simulate catching a fish. Okay, I'm just showing you the rod tip. If it were to bend for a fish, and obviously, okay, you can stop. Um. Uh, a small rod would have a lot more bend, and obviously, smaller rod you don't want to put super heavy tackle on it, so you'd have light tackle. So you'd have, but what um, stutter. Um, so you would have to put lighter combo on it. So you'd have to fight the fish, and it'd be a little more longer than you would want it to be, which is good. But again, then you have that stress while you're catching a fish, and it doesn't really make it fun. Um, anyways. Uh, so, thicker rod, really heavy pound. I doubt you're going to go out there with worms or shad in, like, your local pond and catch anything bigger than maybe 40 pounds. But that's still pretty big, right? So, 70 pound test, just to be sure, because of due to uh, the problem with, um, you could catch something with teeth, maybe a turtle, and you don't want to lose a female. It's obvious, to stop it. Because obviously, people like this is my channel. I can do whatever I want. Um. Anyways, I think I'm gonna make this into a 10 minute video. Make sure you like and subscribe to maybe see another fishing part two, or if you wanna see more videos on this channel, like and subscribe. We don't have an outro, so do 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 do. Yeah, let's give you time to check off the video, cause we like.
to be Bye able to contribute to other videos. I'm kidding. All right, bye-bye.